Okay, here we are on the Research tab, and in this video I'll talk about how to use the features within it. Up here at the top we have New, we have Open, and we have Save, and we have Generate Keywords. So the New button, that basically erases anything that's within these text areas here. So let's hit New. You saw how those were deleted. Open, if you have a saved keyword list, you can save it to file, and then when you open it, it will put those lists here in the text area. Save, this is how you save a keyword list of lists. And then generate key phrases. If you click this button, it takes this word and these words and it combines them to create keywords. So this is a combination tool. You can swap them back and forth, create different keyword variations. And if you have like lists of three or four columns you can generate a huge massive amount of keywords so this is a really powerful tool the second tool is the keyword suggestion tool and this tool is capable of getting thousands tens of thousands of keywords um, the buttons are pretty self-explanatory but just in case um, this transfer results to scraper so this is the suggestion area when we click this button, it transfers any keywords in the key phrase list area over to the suggestion area. And then we have these sources here that we can get keywords from. And then we just click this button here, and this will get suggestions for us. So by clicking that button, it looked for keyword variations related to these seed terms. So what's nice is we can take this list of keywords, transfer it back here and then get some more keyword suggestions and you can see the progress bar is counting up as it completes you can see that over here on the right the key phrases count is increasing with the number of keywords that are being found um, one thing I want to answer is some people want to know if you can set your search engine to the country that you are in the answer is no because well, I know there are tools out there that do that. This tool is not one of them, plain and simple. It's going to find keywords in the language that you use within the suggestion area here. And that's kind of the purpose of it. So if you have a different language, I do know that it does get keywords. So here we have 1,193 key phrases. We got those keywords, you know, in, I don't know, half a minute you can transfer these back over and find even more keywords and just keep going until you're satisfied with the amount of keywords that you have um, these copy to clipboard that pretty much just saves it to your computer's clipboard we have uh, remove duplicates this feature really is only necessary when you input keywords from an external source like the Google AdWords keyword tool or if you have a big large keyword list and you want to remove duplicates and normalize your keyword data and then this clear, that will pretty much clear everything. So we'll just click that and all the keywords that were in here are gone. And there's that's really it. I mean, there's not much else to talk about. It's simple, easy to use tools that you can use to generate keywords. And that's about it. There is one more feature I do want to talk about, which is the ability to use wildcards. So let's say we have something mobile phones. Instead of putting like... Um, a mobile phones we could actually use a wild card so we can say an asterisk mobile phone so let's go ahead and just put that one term in there with that wild card at the beginning and then we'll hit this button here and you can see from that one wild card how many keyword suggestions we're getting based off of that so we found 269 key phrases simply because we put this wild card in the front and then we put a space and then we put mobile phone. So if you want to see what kind of keywords it got, you can take a look. And then from there we can use this seed list and scrape some more and find some more keywords and build our list. Likewise, you can just put it at the end, so mobile phone and then an asterisk and what it does is it looks for mobile phone A, mobile phone B, mobile phone C 
and it finds keyword suggestions based off of that. So that's pretty much a really powerful feature. You have the keyword combination tool, the suggestion tool, and you have the ability to use wildcards. So from here, what we can do is take this list of keywords and we can click this add domain keyword list button and when you do that it takes the keywords that are in this generated key phrase list area and it transfers them over here to the grouper tab which I'll show you in the next video after I get a few more keywords.